Hey guys, Dr. Tomasic here. I wanted to go over something that uh, is a very common question in our office and something I feel like we spend a lot of time explaining uh, because I get that there can be a lot of uncertainty. And that is, why do some teeth need fillings and why do some teeth need crowns? Um, there's obviously, uh, there can be a big price difference between that. It can be much more involved going one route versus the other. So what I wanna try to do is clarify why do, sometimes do you need one and why sometimes do you need other. And really, in a nutshell, it comes down to how large is the damage to the tooth. Now, the damage could be a cavity, a crack, something like that, but it all comes down to the size of the damage. Okay, think of it like this, and I use this analogy. If you have a, a wall with sheetrock, you know, if you actually bumped your elbow into it and it was a very small hole, you could sit there and just patch it up real easily. No problem, uh, small damage, keep it simple. Okay, think of that as like you're filling. If you have a relatively small cavity or other small damage where you still have most of your tooth is strong and healthy, uh, cool, yeah, we pack a filling in there, uh, let it cure, and you're good to go. Now, say, for instance, you had a large damage uh, to your sheetrock. Maybe you had a flood or something like that where you're looking at the wall and you're like, you know, 90% of the sheetrock is damaged. Uh, you wouldn't take all that water damaged sheetrock out and then just try to patch it with, uh, you know, sheetrock repair. Uh, no, you would go ahead and replace the sheetrock at that point. Uh, and, think, and that's how you can think of a crown. If we have a tooth that has a much larger amount of damage, where we're really questioning, do you have enough healthy tooth to hold the filling in place? That's when we recommend a crown. And I, and I say a crown's gonna fit over the outside of the tooth, much like a hat or a helmet, so that when you're chewing, uh, it can really uh, help protect things, it can help stabilize things, uh, hopefully stop the progression of cracks, because we'll see those cracks keep getting deeper with, um, with large fillings. And so, um, yeah, so that's when we would recommend a crown. When you're talking with your dentist, because there will be some gray areas, and you may have slightly different philosophies with different dentists as to when to do a filling or when to do a crown. And the biggest recommendation I can have is just make sure that you understand what your dentist's philosophy. Make sure it lines up with what you're wanting to have done. Um, make sure that they explain to you well. Sh have them show photos of your tooth so you can really understand the extent of the damage. Uh, and before you proceed, so that you feel comfortable with it, whichever route you go. Um, because that's the big key, is with any kind of dental procedure, you've got to make sure that you understand and that you feel comfortable with uh, what they're recommending, what their philosophy is, what's going on, uh, and so that you know all of your alternatives and can make the best decision for yourself at that point. So anyhow, hopefully this clarifies a little bit. Uh, definitely feel free to ask me any questions that you have, uh, and I'd be happy to help. All right, y'all take care. Thank you.